After successfully securing some much-needed funding from Highlands and Islands Enterprise, the SCCDC have managed to secure the services of a world-renowned architect practice. And today, John McCaslin and partners get their first insight into the Castle Tower estate. And after a quick look over the plans, it's straight up on the roof of the mansion house to get a better idea of this sprawling estate, walled gardens, gatehouses and ancillary buildings, as well as the 1820 mansion house and everything that it has to offer. There's certainly no shortage of chimneys at Castle Tower. Indeed, there's an abundance of chimneys for them to survey. The rugged beauty of South Cow is best viewed from on high, and after a climb up a very winding staircase, they got to see what was on offer. And the reward is quite spectacular. After experiencing the best of what the West of Scotland weather has to throw at them, it's back to the relative calm of the rooms within the mansion house, where we got a chance to gauge the architect's opinion of the Castle Tower estate, and in particular, what they thought of the mansion house. Wonderful building, wonderful period building, and it has potential for regeneration. Uh, structurally, it's sound, services not too much of a headache, and uh, it has certainly got uh, potential for uh, a, a, a good restoration, refurbishment, regeneration project. Are you daunted by this project or excited by it? Excited, very much so. You can tell by the way I've walked around this morning, opening up hidden doors and discovering old Belfast basins tucked away. That's exciting to me. This is a period building that has history. I hope to bring that history back. If you were given a free reign, what would you do with it? I mean, let your imagination run right. What, what would you do with this if you were just handed this as a blank canvas? Um, I mean, everyone wants to see. I mean, we've said all along that the only sustainable model is continued community use with some outside. I mean, we, we can imagine the series of different uses on, across this site making really kind of vibrant um, destination. Um, and we think what's happening to the outdoor use is really important. This building itself is so enormous. Um, but it's, it's difficult to see it as one use. So it would be great in a sense to see it as one big hotel um, that the community could get use of and some kind of activity all year round. Um, but we're really excited by the idea and what you, the aspirations for it to be a kind of cultural hub, a local cultural hub, tapping into the music scene, local art scene. We think that's a really exciting and vibrant um, end use for the building. So.